So Hereford beating filed by two goals to one. Here's Josh Gowling's take on it. A tactical change at the beginning to soak pressure up, was it? Yeah, no, we just wanted to sit in. We knew uh, the way they played. Uh, I went and watched them uh, in the week, last week against Kiddie, and we knew you know, they're a possession-based team. Obviously, they've got Howell and Chalman in there. They've got some, some goals in the team, so we didn't want to allow them any space in behind. So we sat in and we, we were solid. Uh, we probably sat in a bit too deep at times, uh, which didn't lie, but again, Change of personnel, Ryan's not here today. Um, you know, Lukey's obviously, he's been training, but he's been off with his, with his little one. So we looked a bit leggy at times in the middle of the park. But no, I thought we, we, we stuck to task really well. You know, you look at their goal second half, it's going wide, isn't it? And we've ended up shinning it in. But apart from that, I just thought overall we're excellent. We're going to say, how many saves did Dale Eve actually have to make tonight, despite all their possession dominance have filed? Yeah, I think first half was probably what teams have done to us here previous where we've had all possession and then they've gone and give us a bit of soccer punch so we can't we put this probably done the other way around I thought it was a red card uh, to be honest he's denied a goal scoring opportunity and it's a penalty so I thought he should have gone but it is, it is what it is but no he, I don't think he really had anything to save did he so please second half a little bit more ambition I felt a little bit more desire and tenacity in in midfield no well, what we did, look they when they scored um you know the game plan goes out the window then doesn't it when you when you want to because you want to win the game so we just changed formation and as soon as we change that formation, we've got top top, it just put, uh, gives a bit of a spark. Um, and then obviously getting Kane in there, dropping Luke back in um, at the back and getting Kane on the ball a little bit more, it just seemed like it just came alive. So I'm really pleased with that as well. Because with three at the back, that gave you an extra man in midfield then at five. Yeah, well, no, we had, I think the thing for us was we had two up top so we could put a bit more apply pressure on the centre halves because when we had a one and a, and a ten, we didn't really put enough pressure on it. And you're asking Ty to cover the whole pitch, which is, he, he can't do. So, and you wouldn't want him to do it. So as soon as we went to the three, it now enabled us to, to get Miles up there alongside him and then Harry in behind him to put that more pressure on. So yeah, and then obviously the back three then can spread out and we can uh, try and play a little bit more. And it's important in front of a, a decent crowd over 3,200 here tonight? Yeah, I mean, I st that was part of my team talk, to be honest. Um, you know, we as a group have been disappointed when we've had a good attendance, we've not played well. Um, and obviously for the football club, you know, fans are fans. And if you're not playing well, they won't come. Um, so I think that was a, a big thing for us in the team talk was to, to be entertaining and, and yeah, probably the first, that's probably not, not the most entertaining in the world, but try and win a game in front of a, 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 a packed place and I'd like to think we did that. I don't, thought you stretched Fylde as well, I think Jack Evans especially getting forward, he seemed to cause problems. Yeah, I mean Jack's played a couple of years at wing back, so as soon as we went to a wing back, um, he just, he's got legs for days and he can run, run all day and I, I think then he caused them a lot of problems, that's why I, I think their full back end up getting a bit frustrated and getting sent off because of it. And obviously skip the other side, I mean the delivery for, for the second goal was unbelievable. So it just enabled us to open up the pitch a little bit more and be a bit more kind of adventurous and a bit more attacking. How encouraged are you despite all the injuries that you seem to have dropped on a a back line that, that, that is more than capable at this level. Yeah, well, you know, we, you know, we say about recruitment. Obviously, we we look at bringing people in that can play different positions. Obviously, we signed Aaron as a nine, but you know, his strength, his pace, his power, everything he's got as a centre half, he's, he's absolutely dominating, isn't he? So, and then obviously Luke was a midfielder and he can play centre half. So, really pleasing. Jordan's not far away. So, obviously, we've got that. Zach's not far away, so we can have that. And then I'll have a few headaches. But yeah, I mean, recruitment this year, I think, has been good. Um, in regards to the points on the board compared to what we had this time last year. So uh, we just got to keep developing and keep pushing up. And I've got to mention Orin Pendley. I mean, I, I delighted you the way that he stepped up. Yeah, he's been, you know, you know the thing with Orin is he's been, you know, we've, I've been working with him every day and Mark, to be honest, you know, at, at training after training to get him up to speed. I'd like to think you can see on the board he's getting better. Um, and I think that's just one area that, the, the main area for him to kick on that he needs to improve on and, and, and he's doing that. And when he's in a three, he will step out wide in, in a full-back area, which is not natural for centre-half, and, and he backs himself defensively to do that, and he did that really well today. So I'm really pleased with him. Obviously, getting three goals in four games is um, not too bad, which is a little, uh, it's a little celebration, so it's not too bad. Kurs National at the weekend, another really important there, because you know, three points off the playoff positions. We talk a lot about momentum to go there, really good surface, good pitch uh, to play on. So it, it all sort of says to me anyway that you've got to go into that game full of positivity yeah i mean we went into that game last year um we started well didn't we and i think i remember the lights went out and then after that we went out and then we ended up losing was it 3-1 4-1 whatever it was um so i remember that game well so we, we they're due they're due one from us um so we want to go there we have got momentum um we lost one in eight or whatever it is so you know, we've got to go there, be strong, be organised like we were tonight, t today, uh, put on a good away performance and, and take a chance when we get on. Thanks very much. Cheers, thank you.